Hello, today we're going to talk about using Word to create a works cited or a bibliography or whatever the thing is you're creating of that nature. It's part of a research paper. I've uh, put this video off for a while because it's kind of vague in nature. But I'll show you what I can show you. Hopefully I can keep this pretty short. So I've got this nonsense essay right here and I want to add some, uh, some sources to it. So. All the stuff that I'm going to talk about today lives under the References tab, right? So References tab is what you're going to use for like a research paper. If you're a student, you're going to be doing a lot of these kind of things. So you see you got some groups in here. The one we're going to be using today is Citations and Bibliography. I mean, that's it. This really isn't terribly difficult, but one thing I do need to let you know is if you're trying to do this on a Mac, I don't have a Mac, um, but uh, I've been told that the references tab is way different on a Mac. So if you're trying to do this, uh, you're gonna you're on your own. You're gonna have to go probably I don't know find a. I'm sure you can do it. I just don't know how. All right, but anyways, Windows World. All right, so let's say that this right here. Let's say I got that from a book. So step one in creating a work cited is inserting the sources. So it's right in here, right? In my references tab citations of bibliography group i'll go insert citation i pull that down sometimes you have new you have stuff in here but i'm going to say add new source i'm telling you this is all the work right here you got different things you got books you got book sections you see there's a lot of things here me personally i always do a book because i think a book is as simple as it gets and this is where this is weird because i don't have an actual book to cite so i'm just going to make up some stuff John Jones. Uh, it doesn't actually matter whether you do it last name, first name, or first name. It doesn't matter, actually, I've found. Uh, title, words. You see, I'm just making things up. That's why this is a weird demonstration. You are going to uh, put in your own stuff based on whatever the heck you're doing. You're either going to be given a source that you, where you need to enter the information, or you're going to be writing a real one of these, and you're going to know what the, what the answer is. Me? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. So I do all that. It's a book. I click OK, and I get that little thing right there. Now, if you don't know about Works Cited, you're like, well, what the heck? I just entered way more information than that. Why is only that showing? Well, the best I can tell you is this. We're right now, we're under APA. If you want to go to MLA, you see how that changes? Even weirder, right? Now the year is not there. Why? Well, I am not going to answer that question for you. Well, I'll just tell you this, there's these organizations and they make up these rules and they revise them regularly. Like, oh, this is how you cite this. This is how you cite that. These are all different organizations and they revise their standards regularly. So why that looks the way it looks, I don't know. And even more importantly, I care zero. But I mean, these rules are constantly changing. That's just why I value it, none. But you're gonna have to, uh, you know, uh, you're gonna have to use a certain format for whatever purpose you're using, especially if you're a student. Let me do one more just because that makes this in more interesting. So let's say I want a second source here. Insert citation. You see there's that one I made before. I'm going to insert a new source. Now I just want to show you, like let's say we're talking about a uh, website. See how there's just more fields? Books are pretty straightforward. Everything, every source is going to have a title, an author. Some things have more things, right? Like a web page has a last updated, for example. So I'm going to pause for a second and just enter some book information because you don't need to watch me enter that information. All right, so I entered another source. Notice this time I did a like a standard first, last. Just showing you I don't think it's going to matter. It's a book. Like I said, I always do books because everything's going to have an author, a title, a year. Uh, and if you don't know one of these fields, which is going to be more relevant in like one of those web source ones, it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be left out. All right, so far, what the heck? Why would I do this? Well, I'll show you why. So I'm going to jump down to the end of my document, and let's do that work cited. We're excited it's going to go on a new page. So I'm going to do a page break, which is the right move here. Uh, here's a little tip I like to do. When I'm going to insert a big chunk of content, which is automatically generated, I usually press enter and just shove it down to the, to the second empty paragraph on the page just so I can align things and mess with the styles if I have to. So here I am. It's going to go right here. I've inserted my sources. Now I'm going to go bibliography. So it's bibliography, references, or works cited. In the beginning, I said it's whatever. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm going to say works cited. There's my works cited. If you have not added the sources, then this is just going to say something like no sources found in the document. That means you need to add the sources. So all of the work was entering the sources. And then this was just as simple as 
clicking a few buttons. Now I want to show you to see how that format was. Do you remember how I did one of them? I did like last name comma first, and the other one I did first last. You see it sorted it out. And if you've never seen a works cited before, you're like, well, why is there all of this italics? Why is there italicized words? Why is everything in the order it's in? Well, like I said, some group of people somewhere decided that's how this is. And you see when I change the formatting, different things change. That's a work cited. Like I said, it's a weird video because all of the work goes into managing or editing the sources or adding the sources. And I can't tell you what to do because that depends on what you're doing. Now, you see when you click on a source, you got that thing. That's how you can manage these things so you can edit them. Okay, that's an important thing to understand because sometimes you're going to make mistakes and you might need to mess with them. You also got manage sources. You can go in here and you can get rid of things. All right, so that's uh, work cited in a nutshell. You see, all of the work goes into adding the sources. Thanks for watching.